Palestinians have been killed and almost 60,000 have been severely injured. The WHO has declared there are no functioning hospitals left in northern Gaza and only nine left in the south for a population of two million people who every day are being starved are being maimed, are being killed by a genocidal army. We bring our children to these protests because we want them to understand the difference between right and wrong, to call out injustice when they see it, and to know that their voices, the collective voices of the people, matter. 160 children are killed a day, 25,000 children who have lost one or both parents. The World Health Organization is now saying that a quarter of the population may die of preventable diseases before the end of the year. We will stand up and fight in their name. We will take to the street demand of our politicians, our schools, our institutions that they call for a ceasefire now and an end to the occupation. There is no interest in human life. There is only an interest in profit. There are oil and gas reserves, oil under the West Bank and gas reserves off the shore of Gaza. And it was stated over a decade ago that the people of Gaza would be sacrificed to access those oil and gas reserves. In October, Rishi Sunak sent RAF planes and Royal Navy warships to contribute to the attack on Gazans. And between 2010 and 2016 alone, granted almost 400 million pounds worth of arms exports to Israel. We don't want to be part of the genocidal war machine. We will continue taking action until there is a full ceasefire. That we will continue escalating until the UK government stops arming Israel. And we will continue taking to the streets until Palestine is free. Yeah.